Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by VectorTwist.com. My name is Mona and in this video I would like to show you how to create your last minute Valentine's card. Of course I'm working in Adobe Illustrator CC since this is my favorite software and I would like to show you how you can create your own Valentine's card. It doesn't take much time and if you really need a last minute little card just follow along with me. And let me show you the finished design here. This is what we will be creating in this tutorial. We're going to use some brushes, we're going to use some tools see in Adobe Illustrator, and when you follow along you realize it's not that hard. And we're going to start from a sketch. So here's a little sketch I've created. I created it in Photoshop and then I just saved it as a JPEG and I opened it in Adobe Illustrator, put it on its own layer and I locked it. Then I created another layer and on this layer we will create the line art. Now I have some brushes that I've already created and you can download those brushes for free so you can work along. So let's zoom in for a second. Now I'm going to choose the biggest brush here and the stroke is set to one point default color black. Let's start the line art here with the heart and I'm going to create the first arch on top of here of the heart just like this. If I don't like it I undo and I redo it. Then I'm going to the other side and as you can see I'm stopping at the banner because I do not want to make the line over the banner then I'm going to continue with the bottom here. And since I want the roses behind the heart, I'm going to make the stroke above the roses. Same here. Then I'm going to start sketching the banner. So we start with the arch on top of here. Then we close it here. Then we're creating the banner on the bottom. I'm going to close it. You can always refine it, so don't worry if the first stroke doesn't really work. And then I'm going to create it here. I'm going to close it and if you think that it is too thick just switch it just use a different brush and I'm going to close it as well here and I'm going to the other side I think you're getting the idea and then I'm going to close it here after that we're going to do the roses so same procedure but this time I think I want to start right away with the small brush and I'm going to start creating the roses Again, you can see that they're overlapping into the heart, so all this part here we don't actually need to create. Let me start. As you can see, I am just really quickly making the line art. It doesn't have to be exactly like the sketch. This is really up to your interpretation. And it also depends on what kind of sketch you created. You might have a little bit more of a detailed sketch. But mine here is not really that detailed, so I don't need it to be that exact. And I'm going to close here the rows and then we have another leaf down here and another one here. Then we are adding some leaves here, some green leaves that we later on going to color and maybe one down here. And then here is one sticking out so I can create that as well. To continue with the rows on the right side, same procedure, I'm just going to follow my sketch. This is really your in artistic interpretation, there's no wrong and there's no right. So just let your creativity flow. Just create some leaves or maybe you don't even have a rose. Maybe you want to sketch something else. So I'm going to continue to create the leaf here for the rose. Close it off. Have another one come out here. And then we're going to add some leaves just like on the other side. Here's a quick tip. If you're using the brush and it doesn't go as smooth as you like to, double click the brush tool and in the paintbrush tool options, you can set the accuracy to either be exact accurate following how you use the brush with the mouse or a pen or you can make it totally smooth. Try it out and see which option works best for you. Now I'm going to add some more leaves here and one down here, another one, one more leaf down here and now the other rose is almost finished, we just need to close it off here. Now let's zoom out and let's see what we have. We have the heart, a banner, a rose on the left and a rose on the side. Now since all was created with the brushes, we need to expand those brushes to make them into shapes. But first we have to do a little bit of a cleanup. It's not so much as a cleanup, it's more closing the path. Because we want to color it and we want that the paths are closed when we're expanding the brushes. And then I would like to show you the Life Paint Bucket tool, how we can give it quickly a color. So we're going to choose the smallest brush and then I'm going to zoom in so we can see better what's happening here. 
And for example here, I would like to make a small stroke to close it off. Same thing here. Here I think we're going to be okay. Here we want to close it off. Same as well here. Here we have to watch what's happening. You can just make it thicker. It doesn't really matter. It does not have to be exactly accurate. It can sometimes be overlapping. The rows here we want to meet with the heart. Same one for this one here. Here we want to make sure it's closed. And then we just go through and see that everything is closed. We'll move over to the other side and see what's happening here. Here we want to close the rows the same way here. We want to connect those leaves on the outer side. This one, the same down here. And maybe close this leaf as well. Now I think we're almost ready. One more closing of a leaf here. And I think we're good to go. Now let me zoom out. And now let's select all. So the shortcut for this is Command or Control and A. Now we have everything selected. And now we're going to Object, Expand Appearance. Now as you can see, we expanded the brushes, but it shows us a stroke and a fill, and it gives us a question mark. So let's go back to Object and expand it again. And this time we get a pop-up, it says Expand. We will check Fill and Stroke and click OK. But we still have the same. We have to actually now clean up some of the paths. So we go back to Object, we go to Path, and we go to Clean Up. Now in the pop-up, we'll want to check Stray Object, Unpainted Objects. And you can leave on Empty Text Paths. So I click OK. And once we've done that, you can see now that all of the fill is black. Now with all of the shapes still selected, we want to go to the Live Paint Pocket tool. You can find it here in the toolbar. And yours is probably hidden underneath the Shape Builder tool. The shortcut for the Live Paint Pocket is K. Now let's open up our swatches and let's choose a red for our heart. So all we have to do is click the fill. Then I'm going to hover over the heart shape that I would like to fill with the red color. Now if I click once, it will fill it. And then I'm going to select the other shape I want to fill. And as you can see, you have like a red stroke around meaning this shape will be filled with the red color. Continue as well and color the roses, but I would like to have a different color. I do not want to have the same red, so let's just choose a darker red here in our swatches. You can either choose a really dark one or a lighter one, or even give it a totally different color. You can have maybe yellow roses or pink roses. This is really up to you. Let me zoom in so we can see better what's happening here. Now if I hover again over a shape I want to fill, you can see the red stroke around, meaning this shape will be filled now with the color I selected. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to color in the roses. Same I'm going to do over here. I'm just selecting the shape and I'm coloring them in. Pay attention to the leaves. Of course the leaves we do not want to be red. We want them to be green. So again with the paint pocket tool still selected, all of the shapes still selected, let's choose a dark green. Now we're going to give the leaves the color. And see how simple this is? It is really a quick way to create a quick, nice little illustration. Now one more shape that we have to color is the banner here. I think I'm going to have it in a light, light gray. So let's choose the lightest gray here and fill it with the lightest gray. After that, the back ones, I want to make a little bit darker because they're going to be a little bit darker because not so much light falls onto them. So here I'm going to choose this one. Same for the other one on the other side. And again, a darker one for here. And the same on the other side. I think you're getting the idea and I think you know how to color it in yourself. Now let me zoom in a little bit here and let me undo this and let me deselect. As you can see now, we've colored everything. So if I zoom out, here we have our quick sketch and maybe we need to actually color in one more part here. So if you forget any kind of shape that you haven't colored, just choose the Live Paint Pocket tool again and select the color you would like to use and then fill it. Maybe even a darker one for this part. Then we can go through and see what's happening if we've forgotten anything down here, but we're all good. Now let me zoom out. Here's our quick illustration of a heart with a banner and two roses on each side. Now we want to add a little bit more details before we're actually going to add some text. And then I would like to show you how it looks when you print it out on cardstock for your last minute Valentine's card. We want to switch to the default colors. So all I have to do is press D on the keyboard. I'm going to open up the brushes panel and I'm going to choose the smallest brush I have created. Don't forget you can download these brushes for free 
on vectortwist.com. Now I'm going to zoom in and I would like to add a little bit of a line art here to the banner, the heart and the roses. So I'm going to add some lines here into the banner. So I'm just choosing the brush and I'm going to use instead of one point, maybe half a point. And then I'm going just to create some lines just here on the side. I want to simulate some kind of shadow or some kind of definition. What you do with this is really up to you. I just want to show you quickly how you can give it a little bit more definition. Same here in the back maybe and maybe down here. And then I'm going to move down to the roses and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some lines to the bottom here. Same way going out from the other direction on the rose petal. Maybe some down here. And you might even want to switch to 0 0.25 for your brush and add some smaller ones to it. Then we're going to add some over here. Maybe some down here. Maybe we want even to add some in here. The same thing we want to actually do on the other side. And we're just going to add a little bit more strokes. After that we want to add some definition to the leaves. So all we're going to do is add some veins to the leaves. And you can be as detailed as you want. You can be as quick as you want. This is really up to you. I just want to show you quickly how you can add some stuff to the leaves here. And then some on the other side as well. This one here have a little bit more veins. Maybe a few lines over here. And then some over here. And that is pretty much it. So let me zoom out. Now one more thing that we would like to do is actually add a text here in the middle. And since it really depends who you will give this card to, you can put any kind of text. So I'm just going to choose my biggest brush here and I'm going to write true love. And I'm going to do this really fast so it looks like a handwritten card. And once that's done, we are actually ready to hide the layer with the sketch. And now you can see that you have a quick design and now you can actually print it out on cardstock that you can easily buy in any craft store and you have your own personalized Valentine's card. Now let me show you what it can look like printed out. Now here you have a cardstock with quite the textured paper and printed out. I've actually changed the color of the roses and I had colored them in pink. The heart is red and with a pink envelope. And this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And be sure to hit the subscribe button now so you won't miss out on all the great tutorials, tips and tricks that are coming up. See you next time.